Hi guys, it's Ebony. Um, I wanted to fulfill this request about my hair regimen or my hair as I'm working out so much because a lot of us face um, what to do, how to preserve our hair and look presentable um, while we work out, you know, five days a week. So, um, the first thing is that I only use scarves that allow my hair to breathe. Um, and I'll give you an example. Here's two of the ones that I use. These are like the half head wrap. Um, oh, my notes here. The half head wrap, um, they go like this. I have four of these. So I have a pink one, a blue one, a red one, and a black one. And they match my different workout outfits. And so I just do this, tie it down, and allow the back to breathe. And it keeps my edges smooth. If I'm wearing a bun, um, the couple days that I was wearing my hair out in the roller wrap, it, you know, just kept it in shape. And they match my outfits because I'm very, very particular about wearing scarves in public, just looking crazy. I mean, I understand, you know, sometimes you got to do what you got to do, but I just can't just rock any old type of nighttime scarf out in public. I'm sorry. I just... <laughs> um, so yeah, these were only $1.99 and so, you know, I just got four of them to match my different workout outfits. So, notice that I'm not wearing a satin scarf that covers my whole entire head. I think it's really important that you allow the water as, as you sweat to, you know, kind of evaporate out of your hair, if that makes sense. I think that if you wear your full head covered, it will sweat out your, your style a little bit faster. So, that's my advice on that. Number two is that after you finish working out, if you're wearing your hair wrapped, allow your hair to dry completely. You know, you can take off the scarf, wear the scarf home, especially if you have a like, cute one. Um, but before you unwrap it, allow it to completely dry. Before you put your night scarf on, the one that's going to cover your whole head, allow it to completely dry. You don't want to wake up and it's still a little damp because that will cause you to lose your style completely. So allow your hair to completely dry after you work out. Um, you want to make sure to keep your scalp clean. Um, the longest that I've gone while working out without co-washing is four days. Um, and I only did that once and I was, I was digging up in my hair. Um, so it, it, it's pretty regularly for me is every other day to co-wash it with, you know, something cheap. The VO5 moisture milk is what I'm using at the moment. Um, so keeping your scalp clean and keeping your hair free of the salt that's in sweat that will help keep your hair soft, supple, moisturized and um, damage free. Um, the next tip that I have is to moisturize before and after. Um, the last four days I've been wearing this bun. I have co-washed with these two braids in but I didn't take them out. Um, and I haven't even been taking like my hair down to comb it. I just tie it up at night and everything but I make sure that before I work out I take my bun down, I moisturize it, put it back up, and then when I'm done, I moisturize it again. And then of course I'm co-washing frequently. So keep your hair moisturized. In my gym bag I actually have um, a little squirt bottle that I got from Sally. Um, this is what it looks like. And it's really cute. See, and you, you know it's got like one of those. And this is just um, conditioner and water. So this is in my gym bag and my gym bag pretty much stays in my car um, so that if I have to go straight from school or whatever I can just spray it down. So that's number whatever number I'm up to is to moisturize your hair. Also in my gym bag I keep a couple of things. Um, I keep the Burt Bees pre shampoo treatment. I also keep the Main and Tail moisturizer, texturizer, conditioner. And I keep a plastic cap. On the days where I know I'm going to be washing my hair or co-washing my hair, I apply this to my hair and cover it with this and sit in the steam room or sauna and just allow my hair to decondition. So if you do, you know, attend a gym, my old apartment complex actually had a steam room and sauna. Um, if you're in a place like that or if you have one in your house, take advantage of it to decondition your hair. And then when I come home, I just co-wash and I'm good to go. So, and you know, they're relaxing and 
they help like alleviate painful muscles and stuff like that so it's really really helpful um the last thing that i have to say is like to not try to wear your hair out a whole i'm sorry i'm stepping on something um to not try to wear your hair out a whole lot it is sunday i just got out of church and i've had this bun like this for four days um or three days and you know i'm not wearing my hair out I wore my hair out for two days after that roller wrap. I mean, because I, I worked out, my scalp felt dirty, I needed to clean it. I just couldn't hold on to it anymore. So I would just say protect the style and that way you won't feel like, oh gosh, I don't want to wash my style out because, you know, it, it can easily be redone. You won't feel like you're wasting your time or money. And so I would just recommend that. Um, I know that a lot of people have gotten tremendous growth retention from bunning and that's great it's not necessarily the reason why I'm doing it um, it's more about me being able to work out in public like this sometimes I go to the park sometimes I'm at the gym sometimes I'm at my home whatever but when I am in public I don't want to just be looking crazy um, so buns are a quick and easy way where you can work out and and not look unsightly in the gym or whatever or at the park and um, they're also easy to preserve so that's my advice um, you know make sure you get that salt out of your hair and I hope that you guys found this helpful I hope that I answered all of your questions um, and if you have any more just please let me know I tried to address everything that I really have been doing since you know relaxing my hair and that's that I'll see you guys next time take care and be blessed bye